Okay, so guilds, you want to know about it. So, Vesteria guilds are basically, you know, whatever you want. It could be a club for people who are the same class or something. It could be anything you want, there could be requirements. But, you're probably here to understand, you know, like, guild chat, hi, someone might respond. You can create a guild in Fort Fidelio for one gold. I mean, you gotta be level 10 though. You can also upgrade your guild to all the way until level 5. Which, um, is 3,000 gold, which is a lot of money, and that's... That takes a while to get. But, a guild can... It used to be 150 members, but it can have 140 members now. And to create a guild, you must be a full party of players. So if you want, this is only applying to if you want to first create a guild. Uh, these would be your founders, the first six people ever to be in the guild. Because guilds, you start off by, let's say I party the poof poof. Instead of hit, I, um, I hit party, and I gotta get six people like him in there. So, yeah. Now you're probably curious about, let's say I click on right here. I can set it as an officer or set it as a general. Now a general, I think they have access to the guild notice, and that's about it. Uh, other than being able to invite people, which officers also have the same authority to invite people and, I, and kick people. Generals can also kick people, so... You gotta be careful on who you give those ranks to, and you make, make sure you trust those people that you give those ranks to. Look, hi. So yeah. So, as a guild, you get a hall. Uh, I put my hall in Nilgarth, so I'm going to teleport there. And the Nilgarth Guild Hall will be located right here. When you talk to this person, say, hey, I want my hall to be here. You can go into your guild hall. And the cheesy boys with an extra E because I made a typo a really long time ago when I made that. So, so if your guild is, I think, tier 3 and up, you get vendor. Vendor man. You can sell your stuff like hornets or gone. And you can also buy Magenta Potion, they give 500 HP, Mana Elixir, they give 300 HP, MP. So this is the only other place than Dunes you can get Mana Elixir, and you'll see Dunes is just kind of a pain if you want a Mana Elixir. Uh -huh. You also get a cheaper Taxi Man Dave, which is nice. Matters what guild hall you have, you, have, you always will get Demis, but they'll be in different locations. Tell you your DPS or something. See 9,814. Here, you can. I want to donate to my guild. I want to donate a hundred gold, and you'll give a hundred gold to your guild. This is for uh, trying to get enough money for your guild to upgrade it. It's just a random room. Every guild has these features too. They're just scattered in different locations. They always have a bed area. Uh, so yeah. Also, when you have a guild, it isn't necessary to have officers and uh, generals, but they're better for, let's say, you want to have your guild have moderation if someone starts spamming. I don't know, something like www 20 billion times and just doesn't stop if you request them to stop. Well, then you can just kick them. That is a pretty easy solution. So, yeah. But, that's your. Really, that's really the only alternative to kicking someone. If you're all the same rank, you can't kick that person who's spamming and you're just ruining everyone else's experience. So you want to constantly, well, you want to at least have a officer or general online at all times because, you know, you don't want some idiot like me going. Du, 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 du. 30 billion times over and over. But, yeah. That's all you really need to know about guilds and hysteria. 
Yeah.